About four years ago, I was doing a presentation to a group of people and the question and answers, someone said to me, Kev, how have you built such a big business? And I said to them, I haven't built a big business, I've built people. And that had never come out of my mouth before, so for me it was quite profound. So I went away and started to study um, why I said that. I've realised that there are basically four pillars that generate something in a business which is quite special. The first one is having a business that, that really has a vision. I think the next one is, and this, this comes from a question that I ask all my staff, why have you left your previous job? I, I, I started to look at, okay, they're saying I was being forced to do things I wasn't happy with. And I believe all of us have an integral level within us that has to be met. Like for example, you're in the sales environment and your boss is saying to you, I don't care what you say, you hit your targets. You make things up, you introduce things, you say, oh, hold on, if you give you credit card details now, we'll give you 10% more off. People genuinely don't want to work under those types of things and it's not hitting that integral level. So I've really brought in a level of integrity where I actually say to my staff, if I ever, ever hear you exaggerating, manipulating or trying to seduce someone into a sale, you'll, you'll be out of this company. I think the next one is a big one and it's called appreciation. And appreciation can come from many, many aspects. It's not just putting more money into someone's pay packet. It, it, it's about going up to them after they've been working you for a year and say, thank you, you've given me a slice of your life and you could, have, you could have done that with any company, but you chose mine. To actually to say to someone, and this happens so rarely in business, to say to someone, Thank you for this, for, for what you've done in working for me. This company wouldn't be the same without you. Your skills and your integrity and your commitment to me in this company has shaped this. And I'm so glad that you're part of my team. It means immense things to, to people. And I think the final one is the power of understanding. I use this in quite a few talks. Imagine I took my wife into the boardroom and said, Darling, um, I've, I've got to talk to you about your performance at the moment in the home. Uh, my, my laundry's not being done on time and my meals aren't being prepared as well. What we're going to do is put you on a performance program for enhancement. My marriage would finish tomorrow. Um, so why do people think that works in business? They're just individuals like your wife is and, and you've got to treat people as people. But if you can shut up and listen to someone with real genuine empathy, and repeat back to them what you've been told and say, well, I understand this to be the situation that's made you feel like this, is that right? They go, ah, oh, he understands. People are more important than business to me. They really are. And I found that if I look after people, if I look after my team, if I look after the consumer, if I look after the tradesmen, if I look after my suppliers, I make sure they're not having to chase me for money. If I look after everyone, hey, the business looks after itself. We've had four members of staff leave in 15 years out of 220 employees. Only four have left saying the grass is greener somewhere else. So it really works. Look after people.